so in my opinion the best microphone for youtube for under a hundred dollars is the one that i'm using right now the rode video go mic 2 Obviously, there's some bias there because it is one of the only mics I've used. The last microphone I bought was a Blue Snowball back in like 2013. So it's been a while, but I did a lot of research prior to buying this microphone and it seemed like this was just the best option. The sound quality is like great for $100. The next best option, in my opinion, would have been a, a Shure microphone and those are like three, $400, you know, so... I wanted to go budget. I wanted to see how cheap I could get it. This microphone's very small. Um, yeah, it's tiny. It's USB-C, uh, it's directional, so you gotta really be up close for it to sound good. I can mount it right onto my camera, but yeah, I think it sounds better plugged into my computer. I think it sounds better when I can control the distance. I have it on a mount right here too. The microphone can be mounted onto a mic boom as well as mounted directly onto the top of your camera. And using the Rode Central app, you can adjust levels and even connect it to your phone with certain adapters so that you can record the same quality of audio from your phone. I mean, so far, like, it's done everything I've wanted it to do. I mean, it cancels out background noise almost too well. That would be my one negative I've had for it so far. Like when I record, when I'm going back into my Premiere and I'm looking at my audio tracks, uh, my camera is recording separate audio. So I'm matching my audio from this in Premiere. And so what I notice is that there's a lot of ambient, just like white noise with my camera, which I kind of like uh, to an extent. But with this microphone, it's just like pure silence. Like it. There's like nothing, nothing besides your voice, which is great for a lot of different um, environments or use cases. One thing that I've noticed with the Rode VideoGo Mic 2 is that the audio quality sounds a million times better when it's through the USB-C plugin instead of the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And so I record my audio using the voice recorder app on my Windows, just computer, and then I sync up that audio when I'm editing in Premiere. So if you're using it with a USB-C, uh, this microphone boom that I use has these little clips that I can put my like wire through and then like clip it down so that it's not just like waving over. So yes, it is a different day now. And I just wanted to make it clear that this may not be the microphone for you for a few reasons. And so a few of those reasons would be recording outdoor content where you're trying to capture the environment. Um, and also if you wanted more consistent audio while moving, this would not be that microphone for you because this microphone as a mini shotgun mic is just recording anything like close by and in this direction right whereas so if i go over here you can't hear me as well already right and so this microphone was meant to be as like a, a microphone for still videos like this or videos where the microphone is up to your mouth or close to you the entire video right i just wanted to make that clear first because if you're planning on doing videos like this or videos in like a bedroom or an office like this i would recommend this microphone to be the microphone for you but if again you're doing more moving ones or ones where you want to hear multiple people or capture the audio of other things around you this would not be that one because of the way it cancels out audio around it but that can also be a positive in terms of this microphone because you will never hear anything else going on around um, while I'm recording. Like someone is outside mowing the lawn right now and you probably did not hear that through the microphone at all, which is a great thing for what I'm going for in a microphone and for getting that quality with the cancellation for uh, just at $100 was the perfect decision for me. So if that is what you're looking for, this could be that microphone. 
I wanted to do some audio tests for people who could be interested uh, from different distances, right? All right, so this is going to be right up close, like two inches away from the microphone. Uh, this is what it sounds like. This is about like six inches away from the microphone. This is what I sound like. This is a test. If we do about a foot, there I'm about a foot away from the microphone right now. This is what my audio sounds like. This is what my audio sounds like if I go over here. I'm still about a foot away just um, from a different direction. And then this is what I sound like if I'm about a foot and a half away with my microphone all the way up to my monitors, hanging over my monitors, completely out of the shot. This is what the audio would sound like from that distance. I personally like holding the microphone better um, as of late. I just, I don't know, I like it better, but it is, it is tiny, like, like in comparison to my hand, like, like it's a tiny microphone. I don't know. I love it. It's great. Like I wouldn't recommend anything else. Like my, so my friends who want to get into YouTube or starting YouTube channels, like this is the microphone, you know, um, I don't want to go cheaper. I feel like you're just, uh, you're losing quality if you go any cheaper, but I feel like $100 is a great price point. And I feel like from what I've heard, it seems to do better than some like $200 microphones. So I enjoy it. It's perfect. If you want to get into YouTube, if you want to get into making videos, podcasts, whatever, and you're on a budget, I really think that the Rode VideoGo Mic 2 is like your best bet right now. Like... 2023 right now this is the best bet if you have one or if you plan on getting one or get one let me know what you think of it um, I'd love to hear um, yeah I don't know I've always liked microphones I've always been into like audio quality and just understanding that because I've been making videos for like 12 years now and I've seen how bad um, my audio has been for my own stuff so like finally getting a good microphone and I feel like this was a good um, a good option I feel like it's comparable to those three those higher level microphones the 300 400 dollar ones um, and yeah it's just worth it to me and I feel like it could be worth it to you so if this helps let me know uh, yeah if you get one let me know and there'll be a link in the description I appreciate it uh, yeah have a good day peace